Skyward and Yawn, One, Snaggies. Butterfly berets and beads below my scab knees. Mommy rakes my curls, a hard grief. Calls them snaggies, them bunches that get caught up. When the rat tail fails, she wields a beast with whiter teeth. Pulls the pony back like it's elastic and yanks. I choke back yelps, she eases. Smooth creases in my neck. Today it's braids. Clean plates, torn, woven, tied. Two, ringlets. Let me become regal now, the most beautiful I have ever been. This is what's been promised. Miss Pamela tells me, relax with a cool menthol lilt. Tilts my neck back to section woolen hair. Paste the thick magic saw, which stings like rejection or a clump of hot grits hop from pot to cheekbone, peeled grapefruit and nails bit too low. You'll get used to it, baby, that flame. Soon my whole crown is snow white slick with it. I try not to squirm, scream, shudder. I swear I hear the shit crackle. Out the dryer I'm all straight, all scalp, all flakes, crusted blood, scarred, marred to its roots. Usher Raymond croons through the wall-mounted speakers. Three. White referee forces black wrestler to cut his locks off before taking the mat, or he would forfeit his match. If you are my son's referee, I'd mortar you down to fish food. Silenced rage, fever split open like Pandora's box with no hope of calming. Love only trumps hate when you got trumping power. If you spider one centimeter of a finger towards my head, my son's dome, my temple, my ancestor's ladder, my warmth, our breath, our life, our blood, watch these locks become black mambas. Watch you draw back a bloody nub. Watch them constrict around your neck and squeeze the nothing from your hollow body. But of course, of course I speak hyperbole. What good am I to my son from prison? You think I don't know how that boy's mother had to smother that magma, had to twist the neck of dish towels, had to paste linoleum and scream into her patchwork quilts? We've all had to bite back bile, knowing damn well we'd feel better to let it spew and burn. 4. Inquiry they always think it's innocuous, the question, is that all your hair? Maybe it is innocuous, but it's only them that ask. I imagine my hair store bought, since I imagine that's likely what they want to hear from such an exchange. But I stare at the inquirer and say nothing. He floods crawfish. The only time these locks wasn't mine was lovers grind and grip on all this mine, pulling hard on all this mine, so far inside. I surrender the snatch, the hair, all to her, amen. Five. In her hands I'm made. Babe, will you make me handsome? My request glints as lips part ways the birth a corny ass smile. Bedroom almond eyes survey the perimeter of a frizzy dome. She webs out a copper hand, smooths electrified hair, says, You know you already handsome. Later, between her softened knees, she reaches ceremoniously into honey lime tub of butter, warming balm, her fingertips pinch the base of one lock, shim shimmying her many red palms along its length. Take off your glasses. I pull them from my face. Crisp edges blur to vague outlines and let my eyes come closed. No need for sight in the presence of God. Six. Pan-African Festival, Mosswood Park. Head wrap hoodoo here holds locks skyward and yawn. Hair buzzed tight nurtured lawns. Fluorescent cyan and fuchsia sewn in against jet black tapestry. Faded sides, afros high, Vaseline sleek edges, peaked hair tucked hedges, 
queens, coiffed, crinkled, crowned, thinness, vining, vertical, tree limbs bare, earth, salt, peppered, feathered, age, weathered, charcoal, heather, silver, honey, brilliant, crimson, all shimmer this electric slide, paraglide, ocean, sea, royal, and it's all good. <laughs>